Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie, Fallout 76 has got me really in the mood to be playing Fallout again, hence why I've gone back to Nuka World, because the first time I really glossed over it and I wanted to get more in depth. Now, doing this has made me come across something that I completely missed the first time, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So it's absolutely no secret that Nuka World is based on Disney World. It's a parody of sorts, from the employee conditions to just the general concept and design. Now, it's not the only place in this DLC that is based on a real-world equivalent. Welcome to the Grandchester Mystery Mansion. This place is based on the real-world Winchester Mystery House. Now, if that place sounds familiar to you, that may be because, well, if you're like me, you've done research on it, or you've just seen the Winchester movie, which I believe came out this year or last year. It's a film. That means it's legit. Now, inside the Grandchester Mystery Mansion, firstly, we'll notice a little girl on the top floor. We'll get back to her later. She's a bit creepy. But also, this entire place is just strange. There are staircases leading to solid walls, doors that open onto more brick walls, and even in some of the rooms, some furniture on the ceiling. Now this ties in perfectly with the real world Winchester Mystery House. The Winchester Mystery House is pretty much the same thing. Staircases leading nowhere, doors to absolutely nowhere, it's just a mess. Where these two houses do differ, however, is in the stories behind the houses. In the real world, the Winchester Mystery House is owned by the heiress of the Winchester Fortune. I'm not sure if she's dead yet. She probably is. Basically, she thought that everybody ever killed by the Winchester Rifle was haunting her, so she made this crazy house to try and confuse all of the ghosts. It's a pretty simple story, and you can tell why they made a movie out of it. Now, in Fallout 4 Nuka World, the story is a little bit different. Here we have a child who is seemingly possessed by some kind of ghost, or maybe she's just a demon on her own. As we pass back through the parlor, notice the stairway going nowhere. This was yet another attempt by Morticia to confuse the evil spirits possessing her daughter. She kills her entire family. It's a very gruesome story. And that is why we can see a little girl running around. We actually see her a couple of times. One at the very beginning. She shows up near the kitchen area. And then we'll see her again in a minute. But we'll get to that. A haunted house isn't complete without some pretty nasty sights. In the kitchens, you can unlock a master lock door and make your way into the basement. Here, we can find a pile of corpses. That's lovely. Now, interestingly, this is likely by the raider who is living upstairs, because you may have noticed there are a bunch of traps all over this place. Basically, a raider named Zachariah has made this place home, and he's killing people that come in. He's not related to the little girl, so yeah, let's get on to that. Once we do kill Zachariah, we can unlock another master lock door, and this one takes us into the attic where supposedly Lucy hung herself. And speaking of the little devil... <laughs> looks like she's run out of places to run. Let's find out what's going on right behind this door. Well, that is unsettling. I think I'm gonna go. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No bad Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da da da.